on everybody welcome back to the channel welcome all my new subscribers i want to take a second and thank each and every single one of you guys out there that take the time out of your day to watch and support my channel it means the world to me everybody in this video we are going to be diving in and taking a look and reviewing the flex pxe 80 cordless scalpel that's what i like to call it but their cordless polisher everybody I've had this polisher now for well over a year and why I wanted I wanted to make a review on this thing but I wanted to give myself time to put it through its paces uh, use it on multiple jobs and multiple scenarios that way I can give you guys my best feedback possible um, so the flex pxe 80 people call it the pixie um, is a is flexes Cordless, battery operated, one inch, two inch, three inch, rotary mode, and it's also got a dual action mode, random orbital mode. We're gonna go over all that stuff. I've got a test panel here. I'm gonna show you guys what it can do. Basically just give you guys my thoughts and my feedback. Uh, for those of you guys out there that are looking for a three inch polisher um, that can do many, many things, um, this is a fantastic tool. Every time I use it, I love it more and more every time I use it. Um, so let's talk about the first thing, price. Yes, it is a little pricey. Um, and don't worry, because I will put the links uh, in the description to where you can get the flex and the kits, the extension kits from APS that I'm going to be talking about as well. Uh, I will put um, where you can find it down in the description, so don't worry. Um, so yeah, the price, um, it's around 400 bucks, uh, a little over 400, maybe 410, somewhere around there, um, from detail division, detaildivision.com. Um, what a great company, great guy, uh, behind the company. Scott's awesome. Um, yeah, um, it is expensive. However, um, to me, I think it's worth every penny. Um, I actually bought mine used. I bought this off a friend of mine used, um, but still it was used like twice comes with a nice carry-on bag rock solid big you can carry all your stuff in it um yeah 400 bucks and i think it's worth every penny uh it comes with a three inch back plate it comes with a one inch back plate and it also comes with a one inch back plate that's soft uh, for sanding. I have yet to use it sanding, but for those of you guys uh, that like to get intricate wet sanding or dry sanding, whatever, and you can put this attachment on it and you can do your sanding with it. Uh, now, for those of you guys that might have the Flex PXE80 already, um, something I didn't know, uh, it comes with a three millimeter option three millimeter throw and it also comes with a 12 millimeter throw you guys can see the difference in the counterweights and stuff like that um, now my first mistake was i put the three millimeter throw on with my three inch pad and it was stalling out like crazy i said man what the heck is going on i did some research that three millimeter throw is designed to be used with the sanding block that's what it's designed for I, once I figured that out, I said, oh, I'm nuts. That makes sense now. Uh, so it comes with a three millimeter and it also comes with the rotary option, which I will talk more about because that is one of my favorite options. Now, what I highly recommend if you have the Flex PXE80 is the APS upgrade kit. I didn't buy the whole kit. I kind of pieced it together myself, uh, but the APS kit comes with these two extensions here very 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 good quality um, I also ordered the APS two inch back plate very very nice quality machined fantastic and I also picked up the APS three inch back plate this back plate has a little give to it it can contour a little bit it's not it's not rock solid plastic like the factory three inch back plate. I mean, this thing doesn't even budge. Um, I really, really recommend picking up the APS upgrade kit. 
also at detail division as well um this kit is fantastic i absolutely love it and i will be talking more about why i love it and my combination and how i use it now let's talk about the the unit itself it comes with two 12 volt lithium ion batteries here now a lot of you guys out there are probably wondering what i wondered how long do i get out of a battery well out of my experience on using it in multiple jobs i get anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes out of a battery and that depends on if i'm using it with a three inch pad on full blast or if i'm using it on rotary mode on level one and two um huge difference there however i can tell you right now with the charger it comes with a, a quick charger here when you put the battery on the charger oops sorry when you put the battery on the charger it will tell you here in a display in a timer of how long you got until your battery is fully charged which i think is really really neat um but let's say for instance you've got two full full batteries i always keep them fully charged you go around the car when one battery dies i pop my other battery in and i pop my battery on the charger now it doesn't take more than it's never taken me more than 30 minutes to charge my my batteries usually it's just 24 minutes to 27 minutes so and that's usually about how long i get out of each battery so it works really well i've never been stuck without a battery on my three inch by the time one's done the other one's fully charged and you can cycle that back and forth phenomenally it works awesome i love it i've had no issues um so another cool feature on the flex pxe80 gosh i freaking love this thing guys is the quick the quick disconnect feature it's got this collar here so when you want to switch between rotary mode you click it and you're done okay you need to go to your 12 millimeter throw or your your three millimeter click and it's done that easy Boop, just pops out pop your other one in i mean you can switch between okay look okay boom switch to my rotary mode okay take your rotary mode out go to my 12 millimeter boom it's that simple it's really really a cool feature i love it um plenty of power i'll demonstrate i got a um, i got a panel here with a little bit of uh, 3000 grid, I just kind of scuffed it up a little bit just to kind of, to kind of show you guys um, the power, what it sounds like, you know, stuff like that. Now, obviously you're not gonna go wet sanding and, and doing, you know, full polish jobs with this wet sanding, but it's came in handy for me, especially when you're spot correcting, got a little scratch. Someone's like, hey, can you get this scratch out for me? Oh, absolutely. I just grab my Flex, my PXC80, a little bit of wet sandpaper, wet sand that spot, Ooh, hit it with this no problems at all i've done it plenty of times plenty of power um yeah that's that's really everything i, I like about it what i don't like about it okay because not everything's 100 percent perfect all the time the one thing i don't like about it is um and i'll show you guys um when i get actually i can show you right now all right so the first thing is the trigger. So you gotta basically do that. You have to push up and then you have to push in. Now, once you get the hang of it, it's not bad. But if you don't get the hang of that, it's kind of tricky when you get the uh, the thumb triggered um, and you first try to figure it out. You're like, why is it not staying? Well, you gotta push it up and in. And then you just press it to uh, release. Um, you can modulate it. If you just slide it up. Hopefully you guys can hear that. You can modulate it when you're spreading your product. Now you can see here, I've got these three LED lights. So that's level one, two, three, and four. Pretty big difference between one through four. What I don't like is when you're on speed four, and you click it off and you want to restart it it goes down to three every time so it won't stay on speed four which yeah you could say i'm nitpicking but uh um, when i'm when i have my three inch pad and i'm using it with the three inch pad with the 12 millimeter throw i like speed four um 
that's per it's perfect for me it's plenty of power doesn't stall um so when i have to click it back on and then turn the speed up yeah it's kind of annoying sometimes so literally the speed dropping not staying at four and the trigger are literally the only two cons of this machine and they're not big cons at all uh, if i'm using rotary mode I, I stay on speed one pretty much um and i'll show you that here in a little bit um but yeah this thing it's ultra smooth it's such a fantastic i call it the scalpel because i mean this thing can handle anything and you can you can throw your extensions because i'm going to be demonstrating this this is probably my favorite combination guys is the aps extension rotary mode with the two inch pad and i've been using this like nobody's business guys and you just boom click it in there like so boom and you got your rotary mode ready to go nice scalpel you can even double up your extensions if you wanted um, i have done it it does cause a little tiny bit of vibration but you're, you're making that shaft longer so you're going to get that but with one extension this setup right here i love it i love it i love it so really i mean two small cons that's pretty much it and those are those are those are nitpicky cons as well uh everything else about it far outweighs those two little cons like you can you'll get used to it no problem i'm going to uh, it also comes with a little wrench i didn't mention that you know to get the uh back plate off your counterweights uh i'm gonna get you guys over on this test panel i'm gonna put you guys up on my head and I'm just gonna basically show you show you it in action. You can hear it, you can see what it can do. And then we'll jump into some final thoughts on the uh, Flex PXE80. All right, everybody. So this is my test panel here. As you guys can see, hopefully you guys can see, it's got some wet sanding. I just did a quick little scuff up and this, this thing actually got banged up in the corner over there. But it's a test panel, so not really too worried. So I've got I've got some 3000 grit sanding marks in the paint. Like I said, this is just demonstration purposes of, of what this thing can do. Uh, I'm going to get you guys on my head and then we will go through the three, uh, the two inch with the rotary mode, which I love. And then we'll do the three inch pad on there with the 12 millimeter throw we'll have some fun with that demo this bad boy and then jump into some final thoughts all right everybody i got you guys on my head hopefully you guys can hear me now i want to talk a little bit about the rotary mode uh this is my absolute favorite mode a little two inch pad with the rotary it really really lets you get precise uh, so for those of you guys that are doing a lot of intricate areas where you got to come up against stuff and you don't want that that long throw and you want to be precise i i love 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 this combination and it works very well you put a little compound here like i said on rotary mode i very rarely go out of speed one just dab this out real quick rarely go out of speed one all you need it's a very smooth machine obviously on rotary mode if you've never used a rotary it can kind of take you in the direction it wants to take you but with two hands on it just like this you can get very precise very precise polishing right up against the line if you want to get right up against that line speed one speed one is all you really need hopefully you guys can hear me over the machine it's so buttery smooth. Say for instance, you want to come down here and you want to go around these holes here. You can get very precise right up against them holes, right up against the body line if you want to. It just works phenomenal. Let's go speed two. See, that's, that's just too much for me. Speed one is all you need. You get in there, you get real precise. 
click down just like that. I absolutely, absolutely love this combination. It works amazing. Now, let me show you something real quick. What I love about the quick change is, let's say you're working on a vehicle and you've got to go back and forth between your, your 12 millimeter with the three inch pad and your rotary. It's this quick to just pop this out, pop this in and you go to polishing. Very, very easy, quick change. It's, it's awesome. I'll show you guys here the uh, 12 millimeter throw. Now I find with the three inch pad and the 12 millimeter throw speed, I pretty much got to crank it up to speed four. You could, you could see, you could smooth it out. You can control it, spread out your product if you need. And then I go up to speed four. Extremely smooth. It's not very loud. It's got good power. You push down on it. Still keeps spinning. Great machine, one hand, no problem. Very, 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 very light vibration to no vibration at all. Speed three. Now sometimes uh, speed three would be necessary. I've noticed when you're doing the, uh, the black piano trim on doors, um, uh, like a soft finishing pad on speed three is a sweet spot. Now, here's what I was talking about. When I'm on speed four, polishing, and I turn the machine off, and I turn it back on, it automatically goes to speed three. I wish it would stay at speed four. As you can see on speed three, hopefully you guys can see that, it will stall a little bit. Speed four, plenty of power, plenty of power. You can hear if I push down, it'll still keep spinning. Plenty of power here. Oh, look, if you want to change out, let me go back to my world rotary. And it's that quick. I absolutely love this Flex PXE80. Oh man, I believe it's worth every single penny. And have a look at this. Let me get you guys off my head real quick. Have a look at this. Ultra smooth compared to up here where all the sanding marks are. Look at that. Fantastic. I love it. Let's jump into some final thoughts. All right, everybody. We are on a quick final thoughts segment on the uh, Flex PXC 80 review. Um, as you guys saw there, just a quick demo of my two favorite things about this polisher is the rotary mode with the two inch pad. Now you can also go rotary mode. Um, I do have one inch pads as well. So you can even get more precise if you want it. Um, I haven't had to really use the one inch pad yet but you could throw your one inch pad on there on rotary mode and you can really get in there uh, in between lettering uh, on some cars. Um, the only time I did try this uh, was when I did that white Range Rover on my channel. Uh, in between the lettering, I used this, it worked phenomenal. Uh, just this, this extension with the rotary mode is a scalpel. It lets you really get in there and get close and uh, you know for those, for those nice jobs you're doing. Uh, the three inch with the 12 millimeter throw, plenty of power uh, to, to tackle mostly, you know, mostly any job that, that can come your way. Uh, a lot of newer cars, they got a lot of body lines and contours, so you're using three inch. Uh, but like I said, with the batteries, I, have, I haven't had the issue of not having a battery. So like I said, uh, for instance, 
I take my batteries off. When I'm done, I throw them on the charger and it'll show you right here. You'll hear it kick on and then it'll tell you it's showing three bars and then it gives you a time limit, 24 minutes. So by the time one's done, the other one's charged, even fully dead. No more than 30 minutes to charge a battery, which is awesome. Um, yes, I know it's expensive, but I'm telling you guys, it's worth every single penny, in my opinion. Everybody has their own opinion. There's the, there's the thought of oh, corded versus uncorded. You'll never match the power of, of a corded machine. Yeah, that might, be, that might be true, but let me tell you, I've got my other polishers down here. I've got my G8 uh, down there, and this thing just blows it out of the water. The convenience of not having to worry about a, a plug lugging it around, hands down, is worth it. That's, I'm telling you, that's why I haven't spent the money on a cordless five inch, because I know I'm, all, all my other polishers really ain't gonna get touched. Um, <laughs> and that's my honest opinion. The, the, the conveniency of just being able to grab a polisher and use it and move it around where you need it, especially when you're really trying to get in there and dial in spots, you don't wanna have to worry about a cord, honestly. Uh, I absolutely love it. Now the APS extension kit itself, I wanna say it's around 80 or 90 bucks. Um, don't hold me to it guys, but so, so for around 500 bucks, maybe 515, maybe 520 with shipping, um, you can have an absolute scalpel of a tool that I highly, highly, highly recommend. If you're on the fence about getting a, a Flex PXE80, do it, you will be very very happy that you did i absolutely love this machine and like i said i wanted to wait i waited well over a year i have used this thing on many 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 polished jobs two steps one steps enhancements you name it i've used it i love it more and more every single time i use it and that is the smurf double stamp of approval for sure um yeah yes it's expensive that's the downside but it's probably going to be the last three inch polisher you buy. I can, I can tell you that because this thing is just buttery smooth, tiny. I mean, it weighs almost nothing. I'm not, I don't know all the super specs and diameters and measuring it and length and this and that. Like, hey, this is how big my hand is. Fits in my hand nice. It's very light, it's very well balanced. No vibration, ultra smooth. I mean, it is just a scalpel that is. I love this thing. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. We talked about the, the cons. The button is a little bit tricky. Once you get used to it, it's fine. Um, I really wish that it would stay on speed four when I'm using my three inch pad with the 12 millimeter throw. Uh, that way I can go right back into it and not have to worry about up and up that, that speed. That would be nice. Um, but like I said, nitpicking. We're nitpicking here. Um, the results I've been able to achieve with it are just phenomenal. And, and I, cannot, I cannot recommend it any more than I already am. I'm not pushing this polisher on you guys and say, you guys have to have this to detail. Uh, I've made this video in hopes that uh, somebody could take some knowledge from it uh, and maybe help with their decision on buying the polisher because I looked up several, several videos. I found some great videos on it as well. I wanted to add to that because this little Flex PXE80 is just absolutely an amazing machine. I can't speak highly enough about it. I paid for it with my own money. Guys, they did not send me this. <laughs> it tripping if you think Flex sent me a polisher. Um, no, I paid for it with my own money. I actually bought it from a good buddy, Jordan of mine. Shout out, Jordan. I uh, appreciate you, man. He hooked me up. Um, I paid 200 for it or 220 because I paid shipping. Um, I would absolutely pay full price for this machine. And that is my 100% God honest truth right there. I would pay full price for this machine because it is worth every single penny. And uh, those of you guys out there that don't want to believe me and, and that's fine, you know, that's okay. This is my opinion. This machine is a beast. The scalpel, that's what I call it. This is a scalpel. 
Uh, okay, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. That's pretty much it. Uh, if you're interested in the Flex PXE80 and you're on the fence, you're like, should I buy it? I... Just pull the trigger. Uh, you get best of both worlds. You get your dual action long throw. Well, not long throw, but 12 millimeters is a good, is a long throw for a three inch. Phenomenal results. You guys saw right there, quick, easy. I wasn't even trying. Uh, 3K sanding marks. That thing looks, the test panel looks absolutely glass. Um, even on rotary mode with the two inch. Man, I just fall, I, I, I can't, I, okay, I'm rambling. I'm in geek out mode because this thing is so great. Um, plenty of power. Just do it if you're on the fence. Thank me later. Um, I will put the link to Detail Division down in the comments. That's where uh, you could find the Flex PXE80 with the APS extension kit. It comes in a kit now. Um, I bought my pieces individually, but you can buy the kit. Um, now, in the past, um, he has been sold out. This guy's a hardworking guy. It's just him running this company, trying to provide really good products for people. So uh, bear with him. If it's out of stock, hang tight. Um, let's go support him. Great guy. He leaves handwritten notes in every single package he sends out. Just a good guy. So I like to support um, him over at Detail Division. Plus, he's, got, he's the only one I really know. I haven't looked into it much, but he's the one that has the APS extension kits. Comes in this cool little, you know, this little case so you can keep your, you can keep it organized and whatnot. So um, yeah, head over to Detail Division. If not, I'll, I'll, I'll put other links to other places you can find it. Um, but I suggest supporting, you know, smaller companies. But I'll put links in there to different places you can get it. I'm not trying to, you know, sell you on, you have to buy it from this place. Um, so I'll put multiple links, um, Detail Division. You know, they have other stuff as well. So feel free to check them out as well. Um, that's pretty much it. Two thumbs up, double stamp of approval. The Flex PXE80, my scalpel, highly recommended. If you guys found this video uh, useful, oh, real quick, I wanna to touch on the sanding. I have not tested this out with the little sanding pad with the, the three millimeter throw. I can't tell you how well that works or not. I didn't buy it for that, never had to use it for that. But if you're somebody that does wet sanding um, a lot and you need to, you know, get in those intricate areas, it's got a little wet sanding thing there. So yeah, that's pretty much it. 12 millimeter uh, throw with the three inch pad, rotary mode with the one inch or two inch pad. Psh, that's all you need. You can pretty much dial in anything down to the T with that. So yeah, if you guys found this video useful, please can screw. <laughs> Please consider subscribing to the channel while you're down there. Smash that thumbs up for me. Click that little notification bell. That way when I upload more videos, you guys get notified. Whether it's detailing, product reviews, full details, how-tos, coatings, corrections, all that kind of good stuff. You guys will get notified by clicking that notification bell. So with that being said, I appreciate each and every single one of you guys for taking the time out of your day to watch and support my channel. It means the world to me. I hope all you guys out there have a fantastic day, night, evening, whatever it is where you're at right now watching. And I'm going to catch you guys all in the next video.